Well, the Trump administration is signaling that it is open to preliminary talks with North Korea. This comes after Vice President Mike Pence and the sister of North Korea's dictator. Well, they both attended the Winter Olympic ceremony in South Korea. There is the vice president, and off on the left shoulder is uh, the sister of Kim Jong-un. Her name is Kim Yo-jong, sitting right behind him. But apparently, he did not acknowledge her presence. But the North, uh, did the North still get what it wanted? By showing up and then sending their cheerleaders and others? Well, Greg Talcart is in South Korea tonight with more. Greg? Eric with the Olympics here into their second week. Sports and diplomacy once again in the mix. South Korean President Moon visited the games. He would not confirm whether the South will take up the North Korean offer of a summit. He did confirm that he wants the regime of Kim Jong-un to talk to the United States as well, with the ultimate aim of the denuclearization of the North. That's what we have heard, too, recently from officials close to President Moon following the visit here by Vice President Pence. We were told that North Korea talking to the U.S. is a precondition for inter-Korean talks. Meanwhile, we had a chance as well on Saturday to get over to the Olympic site. Well, the focus, of course, is on sports. More opinions were offered about North Korea's participation in the games. Take a listen. It's a stepping stone. Yeah, I certainly won't hurt. I don't, know, I don't think they're making a good enough showing to have a few athletes. And... I really wish that every day could be like the Olympics and we all could get along, but I think it's just a great time to celebrate everyone being together. By the way, those North Korean cheerleaders made another appearance on Saturday on the sideline of the games. As you have heard, there is a mixed feeling about the North Korean presence. In the coming week, Ivanka Trump will lead another U.S. delegation. They will attend other events at the Olympics, including the closing ceremony next weekend. And we have indications that, once again, politics will be mixed in as well. Eric. All right, Greg. Thanks so much.